Hi, I'm Dennis Ward. I was the FY16 um, president of NCAR. Well, community is something that we've woven throughout this past year and everything that we've done and working with all of our projects within this organization, the community theme being that not one person can do anything alone, that it's a team effort, our staff, our member board executives, our member board members, our collateral organizations such as the AIA, the AIAS, the NAB, the ACSA, all of those working together were able to accomplish things that an individual alone would not be able to do. Uh, we had three main things that I would say we focused on this year as my year as president. I think the number one highlight this past year was IPAL, our Integrated Path to Licensure. And this is an opportunity for um, candidates to uh, complete their education, to complete all the experience requirements, and to sit for all parts of the examination with the possibility of becoming licensed upon graduation. With creating IPAL, You've created these opportunities for those people who have already laid out their path to licensure and want to do so in a condensed period of time. Also the BEA and the opportunity for so many licensees to um, obtain certification that may not have an opportunity now because of education and experience um, limitations. We're going to have a whole new group of architects who may now find it a possibility to obtain a certificate. And then the third uh, was the mutual recognition arrangement with Australia and New Zealand and the possibilities that this brings forward for our architects here in the U.S. to continue to practice abroad. ARE 5.0 is several years in coming but in a much shorter period than uh, our past reiterations of the exam. Rather than just a version of an existing exam, it's an entirely new exam. That's one of the things that, that I'm most proud about, that it is an exam for the next generation and an exam that we can build upon for years to come. You know, I've been very excited this year um, and throughout my career at NCARB about the way we've been able to address fees and now to have an opportunity because of new programs that we're doing and, and new um, ways that we've implemented work within this organization to be able to reduce fees, to re-examine our fee structure. The one moment that stands out most for me was when I had an opportunity to come to the office and talk to all of the staff and to thank them for all of their work individually and as a team um, for what they've done for this organization. Uh, the most rewarding part was being able to work with all of the volunteers. Um, knowing that there are so many people who give up so much of their time um, from their professional lives to work with NCARB. Volunteering is probably the best thing that I've done um, in my life for myself and professionally. The profession has been good to me over the years and this is a way for me to give back. It opened doors to allow my voice to be heard that I wouldn't have had an opportunity to do so as a sole practitioner in South Carolina. Volunteering in itself means that you're doing something without any expectations of getting anything in return. There's so many things that we did that are going to impact this organization and the profession um, for many years to come.